rock steady. Rock steady, rock steady, rock steady. What is this? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy X here. Welcome back to another video. I have just finished live streaming the PlayStation State a play, and my whole opinion about State a play it, it, it was just okay if if you like indie games, but it was it was nothing special, nothing groundbreaking stuff. It was just meh at best. Um, you know, but the one game that I was looking forward to the most is the Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. You all know how excited I am for, uh, for this game because, again, it's coming from Rocksteady, the, 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 the studio that made the legendary Arkham series. And I and, 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 and ever since that first trailer and that first um that old gameplay, I was like, yeah. I was hooked and stuff, so I so I was super excited to see this, and after seeing it on stream, yeah, and stuff, I'm like in the middle now. Makes it's like this game looks very, very like a like a live service game because it is. Uh, because they even like sort of confirmed it in in the in the showcase itself. Um, it just looks like a generic live service game. That, that you've been that, that you'll play already and stuff and maybe I was expecting a little bit different or more I don't know I just I don't know how I feel about the gameplay uh, the, the story and the characters might be the bright spot of this game everything else I don't know and they did say that they're gonna add like more characters more uh, 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 missions and stuff so this is a live service game and I know that word took a lot of people off my stuff included but Let's see. Let's see what Ross, what, what Ross say can do and stuff. But if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, which video I can channel so 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 much. And let's just dive right into this. Okay, so I'm gonna be pausing it here and there. Uh, oh, you know but but I, 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 I'm but starting off first. Um, the the like the, the graphics don't look that uh like that ground breaking. Um, and I'm I was shocked and again I can't we we can't really tell because no no it's in, it wasn't it wasn't 1080p but it just is shocking because this is a current gen only game and I thought that this game was going to like harness like the power of the the, the, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X but this just looks like a like a like a cross gen game now let's analyze this like this is the this is the part where it, it, it got spooky for me first of all the ui oh my god this mini map right here i i i i i don't know who who designed that but no and stuff so the the so the, the dead giveaway of a live service game this looks like it it looks like that dc um online a universe game but i mean the the, the gameplay looks flu uh it looks fluid but it just yeah like the guns just like pew pew like the kind that have impact and there's a lot of like pop-ups um, um, artifacts and items and stuff. It just, it looks really arcadey. It, 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 it looks like they took the style of like Fortnite and a mobile game and just mix it together. It just, I was expecting way more. Yeah. Yeah, it has that, like that, it it, 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 when you see this, it looks and feels like it, like Fortnite, and, and but it just doesn't look like the come doesn't look that satisfying. All those, you know, those items that pop up, and, and every time uh, when you kill an enemy, it's like this red X on screen. This does it does not. It looks very generic. The, I'm sorry, the gameplay looks very generic. It looks like 
a, a, a generic live service game. Gameplay wise, I don't, I. Yeah, that, like, and this is that it is it's 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 so disappointing coming from Rocksteady. Like, yes, when 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 the leaks happen, people saw bow pass in the store. Like, oh my god, it's gonna be last year of this game. Your fears were correct, and this game right here, gameplay wise, all the like the items that just like like like, like this like just floating around like ammo. It's just it's a very it this screams live service gameplay, like. Like the explosions don't look that good. Like 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 the gunfire and stuff. I mean, of course, you know the gun customizations, but the explosions don't look that crisp. Again. I could be wrong about the combat because again, I was the same way with, with Hogwarts Legacy and I love that game and, and the combat, but this just looks, I was, I was expecting more from this game, uh, being that it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a current gen only game. Like this, this looks like a cross gen game that, that could easily run on the PS4. It, yeah, there's no impact and no like. Rocksteady, what happened? Like you are from, you are from being the blueprint of combat in the superhero game to this. How do we go? How how do we get go from Arkham Knight ha having that great combat to just? Generic third person live service sh shooter. And I'm assuming that because they said that it's a third person shooter. Okay. And stuff. But again, I was hoping for like some melee combat as well. But I don't know. This game just looks and feels like it. And since it is a live service game, this. This may not be polished day one. Uh, so, because a lot of last year games are not, because again, they release it with that mentality. Oh, we'll just fix it later. I was expecting like Batman, like Arkham Knights and stuff like combat, but just like refined and like and just building off that base and stuff. Not this mobile game Fortnite combat system that just that that, that is built for live service. And stuff like this right here, I don't, I don't know how to. I, I just don't like it. Now again, I think what's gonna really, it, what, what, what has to save this game, is the story. The, 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 the story's gonna have to save this game. Our girl, Wonder Woman, which is the only, I guess, hero that is not controlled by Brainiac. All right, so here's another, um. Uh, trailer that I found. This one just basically goes more in depth on the game. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is an extension of the Arkhamverse, and it's really about now reframing the story and telling it from the villain's point of view. Where are we going, and who are we killing? It's a mixture of lots of the things I hope the fans like about Rocksteady, but like a whole massive chunk of new stuff that they've never seen before. <laughs> We've always seen Batman's perspective on this world. And we thought it'd be really fun and enjoyable to see this universe, like through the eyes of the villains. We're Again, the bright spot is going to be probably the story, but but the but the the, the customization is interesting. Story five years after the end of Arkham Knight, and a lot's changed. It's in five years time. after Just Arkham checking. Knight. We're all seeing that thing, right? Brainiac has invaded Earth, and he's this huge threat overlooking Metropolis. He's taken over Metropolis City. The Justice League are there to try and save the city. But Brainiac has captured and brainwashed them and turned them against the very people they've been sworn to protect. Oh, fuck. It's Superman. So the Justice League... Superman. Single as Brainiac. Man, what if the boss battles... The boss battles got to be God tier. Like, God of War tier. To take over 
Earth and anything less? The new no. What we've created Batman. is a classic Justice League, but with the sense that there's something wrong with them. They are now doing Brainiac's bidding, and Amanda Waller scrambles to try How to does Superman get uh, remedy Brainiac? this and essentially save the Earth. And she recruits our four lovable characters into fighting the Justice League in an effort to reclaim the Earth and thwart Brainiac's plans. Oh, Your be new the mission League. is to kill the Justice League. The members of the Suicide Squad are Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, Deadshot, and King Shark. How are these guys Harley Quinn is definitely the most acrobatic of, of the crew. She's always moving, she's always flying through the air in kind of barely controlled ways. The feeling of swinging and the momentum and the kind of physicality of yeah, it. Yeah, trying to keep that's that, that momentum going looks... and use that to go over buildings or swing under bridges and chain that into yeah, kind of that the looks mechanic. Like, yeah, the, the, that looks fine. Like, the, like, 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 like the movie, but the combat is so feels spot on. I'm a freaking superstar. Deadshot has the iconic Deadshot look, but with a rock steady twist. He's got a real swagger to him, and in this game, he can also hover with his jetpack. In super yeah, I, I, I don't know about this. Precise, he uses I just, sniper I rifles, don't... assault rifles, and pistols, and they all fit with his. Sort of the fantasy of playing as Deadshot as this master assassin. I mean, don't get me wrong. The combat itself looks fun. Very arcadey style combat. And again, I you know, no, no, this is something new from Rocksteady that we haven't seen. Could we get? Yeah, could again. If you if, if you're looking at this and saying, "Oh my God, this looks like a mobile game, Fortnite and stuff," it does. But again, where come? When you think of Rocksteady, all you see is the Arkham games. And that combat, so this will throw a lot of people off. But you want Team Waller or Team Get the Hell Out but of Here? I, I still don't know how I feel King about Shark, it. King Shark, to me, as as a person, is well, as a fish, is this incredible character who's super well read and super well to do, and I'm sure yeah. could smash an See, operatic performance. That combat Actually, looks fun God. when it all blends. It, it, at times, it does look the fun. Mortals and their buffoonery. But also doesn't really know simple words or simple things that are going on. I think that's brilliant. In terms of combat, he is a brute. He is a, a tank character. He can take more damage. His abilities all lean into the fact that he wants to get in a bit more close and personal. He's the fastest melee character. Captain Boomerang's got his um, Speed Force Gauntlet that he can use together with his boomerang. He can throw it to any point in space and Speed Force to that point along the walls, along the floor, and get wherever he wants to go. You can use that to get up close. Dodge around in mid-air. The gas sounds, the, the the gas sounds, sounds nice. He doesn't want to stick around. Don't worry, guys. I'm here. One of the most exciting parts that connects our game to the DC lore are the support squad. Here's all, Widow. And you have... I can't wait to see. We see, like, some, like, uh, villains. Like, what the hell is Penguin doing in Metropolis? Shouldn't he be in Gotham? Yeah, so, has, so I want to see what other villains that, that there are. Probably Two-Face, maybe. Faces. Hack, who is a digital ghost that is helping the squad both navigate the world but also upgrade their mech bombs. That's a big adrenaline spike analyzed bomb sending out. This. Toy Man, who's helping the squad with perfecting gear. And then finally we have Gizmo, who is helping the squad with insane vehicle creations that let you blow shit up. Metropolis is Now, your can you like drive those vehicles? Are those vehicles are only for and you're going to get to meet different characters, characters, different villains, and you really get to see these cool, iconic locations. Being the city of tomorrow kind of like meant stark contrast with Gotham City, which is very dirty, it's always raining. And that contrast with like a city that's very grand, it's very clean, it's very functional. The huge difference between Metropolis and Gotham is that Metropolis really acknowledge and really trust Superman. So there is a lot of statues to thank Superman for everything he's done for the city. Again, getting to see I'm excited to explore this, uh, this world and just this everything. Again, I, 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 I always loved it. I always loved that about Rock City games. It's the, you know, they always go through the villains' just eyes, in to depth experience with the world. world and traverse through this world as the villains. Greetings! 
So the core ability that everything wraps around in Suicide Squad is your traversal. How that works with combat is you're chaining your combat moves together with those traversal moves, and the combat encounters are all designed to push. If the combat is fluid in a battlefield, I'll give that the combat is fluid, but I just don't know how I feel about it. Coming from Rockstar Leagues, and how to use them all to your best advantage to control the chaos and come out victorious. It just is very arcade. Variety. So there's six. It's just very arcade. Assault rifles, SMGs, sniper rifles, shotguns, miniguns, and pistols. There's added variety. Okay, so so they got the their weapon class. So they got shotguns, pistols, assault rifles. Okay. From weapon manufacturers. There's LexCorp. Now weapon, there's GCPD weapons. There's Armortech weapons. Now I was shocked about this. That there are are there are weapon manufacturers. The only game that we have seen seen this in is Destiny and Borderlands. You know, like you know, like like so like like the like different guns will have like a like like a different manufacturer's name on it. That is cool. That's a cool touch. I'll, I'll give him that. Later on in the game, we also have gear sets. Gear like, sets. Gear sets are villain themed. Uh, again, if you play like. The Destiny or or the Division. For example, if you have a Bane gear set and you trigger his buffs in the game, some of it will have the Bane drums and you will be like Bane and like boom, 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 and then there's like green smoke and you trigger all kinds of cool. effects. So you're basically. Yeah, I, I, I wonder if we could turn all this off because this is very like distracting. Like very distracting. Like I wish you could like just turn off all those effects because the effects are really what takes you out. Dylan, you're bringing it into the game. Each character has a power level in the game that we call gear score. As you acquire new gear, in here we go. Now here, yes, I'm gonna pause it and keep it paused because I want to talk about this. I'm, I I I because I know that this game is going to get like like oh my god, just another. How can Roxy? do this this is is like they just follow the trends of, of the live service and stuff yes this game is going to be a live service game you, you can see from the, the the battle pass in the store and they literally confirmed that that they're going to be updating this game with more content more more playable characters so i don't know who who else they're going to add probably like peacemaker or or, or something and new missions so yes, this screams last service. So it's like they, they they took a page from Division, Destiny, hell, Fortnite for like it's combat and stuff and says, here you go. So this might be their game for the future and stuff. So here we have a weapon, we have a, a sniper rifle, less corp and stuff as manufacturer. Uh, I've got the DPS. Um, all different perks. Uh, I think what's it? Uh, the, the reload time, uh, the, the weapon level, damage per hit, critical damage. Again, I, I, if you play like a lot of looter shooters and stuff, I got. I love looter shooters and stuff, but like a there's only a small percent of live service games that I like. That is Destiny and Division. Anything else? No, it's trash. Uh, but here you have your perks. You have like 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 ammo reserve, critical hits. Um, so th this will turn a lot of people off about this game already. Cause coming from Rocksteady, coming from the Arkham series, in the game, going to this, goes up. and as that number goes up, it means that you can take on much harder missions. As part of this. Okay, what we have here? We, it was what were these loadouts? Okay, so he, so we have Harley Quinn. I'm, I, I, I'm guessing that, that that this is your level. Um, so you have two weapons and one me a melee weapon. Um, again, the different levels, different perks, stuff. This is very live service. Like this is like diving deep, like into like, yeah, like if you do not like live service games, if you do not like um, like RPGs and stuff, and like this, you will not like this game. Unless it has a great story behind it. I don't know. Shield mods. Traversal mods. It's just. It's this, will turn, did, 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 this will turn a Change lot of people off. N now again. The designs, for, the designs for the weapons are cool. And stuff. You know. I, I, I got this, like, this uh, poison hammer. The ice hammer. Uh, different perks. 
So you will unlock more and more builds, more and more ways and sadly, to customize your character. To I enjoy games like this. So. Every firearm in our game is upgradable. So in Suicide Squad Killer Justice League, you're gonna get lots of choice to use the weapons that you need and to complete your missions. But most importantly, you will be able to customize your. That's a cool skin. Your squad to be whatever you like. That's a cool skin. Now again, I hope Rocksteady, you better not do this. Put the cosmetics behind the paywall or the battle pass and stuff. I hope that you're able to earn the cosmetics and skins in the game. You can wear whatever you want, any of the outfits. You can be running around in your asylum jail outfit and still have like the best gear score ever. I like it. Our game is a one to four player co-op experience, which means that all the missions in the game have been designed to support solo play, playing okay, with a friend, so like you play like right from the start friends. with your friend. For the single player fans, you can play in single player with bots filling in the role of the squad. Again, the combat looks so fast paced and fluid. And I'll, I'll, I'll get him that. Like King Shark now. That is very uh, arcadey, and it, it, it looks like a live service game. Try her out. But if you really want to tear it up, going in with a full group of four, as you experience the full mayhem the Suicide Squad has to offer. And you get to really experience the dynamics between how you can all play together in different play styles in order to take on Brainiac and the Justice League. All the fun is right here. Yeah, the, that when the story's sound... done, your experience doesn't end there. Rocksteady will continue its legacy of supporting the game after it's launched. We're going to deliver lots of new content to our players. Mm -hmm. We're going to have new playable characters, new weapons, and new missions. Okay. The players who like to customize their looks will offer a battle pass that only contains cosmetic items. There's just going to be so much for the players to enjoy. Just only contains cosmetics. I hope that they don't just put the skins back right there. Harley Quinn kills the Justice League. If you like story games, if you like RPG elements, if you like co-op games, if you like customizing your characters, if you want to play as a badass, this game kind of has it all. It's very so basically what she said, if you like single player games, if you like RPGs, hence if you like live service games and stuff, then it's like... They're, probably, they're saying that that you know that, that that's a little bit of everything, but it's so deep rooted. That, it's really colorful. It's loud and unapologetic. And that, it, that that you just can't play this game as a single player game because there are there are level gates. There are stuff you know you know you, you know you're gonna have to in, I'm interact with these features. I'm very I am very d d d disappointed at this game. Rocksteady, let me talk to you real quick. Instead of making a grounded game, no battle pass, not live service, you decide to say, F that, let's make a game that took the inspirations from all the live service games. From like Destiny to Division to Fortnite and stuff and just put it all into our game. If this story is not great, this game is in trouble because already people that seen this gameplay is it, 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 going to see the red flags. And again, a lot of people don't like live service games because why? They're greedy. The amount the the the, the, the microtransactions they always release broken with the idea of like, okay we'll fix it later with a patch or update and stuff. A lot of people don't like less of his games anymore. So and again, I'm a very I I don't really like less of his games like that because again I can't dedicate my time to like just one game. And I, I mean the only two live service games that I like is Destiny. And the division, so those are the only two I don't. Those are the only two I play, but it just come from Rock City. I, I I don't I don't know about it. Like like the, the combat looks very. It just that doesn't look great. It's fluid and 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 it, and it could be fun and stuff. It looks fun, but I don't know. It's just we gotta see how this game goes again. I'm right now. I was like this. Now I'm like in the middle. So I'm still getting this day one, still going to play, still, still looking forward to it. Again, cause again, I like loser shooters. And I do like live, some live service games and stuff. So, but this to me is like they just took everything and just cram it into 
uh, into one. So this game probably won't be for everybody. I'm gonna say that this game will probably need to be for everybody. And that's sad because again, Rock City is looked at as the blueprint maker of a superhero game. And to see them going from the Arkham series and Arkham Knight to this, it's a downgrade. And so to a lot of people's eyes, this is gonna be a downgrade. And and and, and it looks and it looks like that. Like for 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 uh for a current gen only game, I was expecting way more from you, Rock City. Way more. Yeah, but guys, did you today's video? Make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for your channel so 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 much. Rock City, you let me down. Stay safe, guys. Take it easy. Peace. Oh.